user conflict is gonna be faster than we can ever imagine. It's really about moving information around quickly, making decisions in, in split second moments. And a human cannot make decisions that fast. AI and warfare writ large. So what is AI going to buy us as a country, as a nation, investing in it? Well, one, it helps us with better decision making. The other thing is speed. The third thing really is helping us do more with less. Our digital systems are generating more information every day. The ability for humans to keep up with that information is um, becoming non-existent. We, we can't. For example, video feeds from uh, various drones. You know, a human normally would sit there and watch that all day, every day, but at a certain point, you become saturated and you don't have enough humans to do that. So you have to rely on the machine. Come on, yes. Thank you for your support. So NIMIC Atlantic is really exploring AI in three different ways. One is where we've always invested in natural language processing, which is a subfield of artificial intelligence. The second is really tied to electromagnetic spectrum. So understanding how we can both protect our systems and dominate other systems in that, in that domain. Again, at speed, these are things that are gonna happen faster than a human can do it. So we have to rely on algorithms. Uh, and the last thing is really decision support, decision advantage, we might want to call it. But how are we going to use these algorithms? How are we going to apply them to our decision-making processes? So we are working directly for the Chief of Naval Operations to develop a dashboard. We are using that to display the combatant fuel that is on board ships worldwide to allow for decision-making purposes. So the AI capabilities for the Fuel Executive Dashboard uh, were related around message traffic. The Commander's Task Force is around the world. They're using these naval messages right now, and they are manually parsing these messages. And it's taking them roughly around four hours a day. The Fuel's Executive Dashboard will allow them that automatic feed of data in. So imagine a Fuel's officer getting up really early in the morning uh, maybe in 7th Fleet, 3rd Fleet. Comes in in the morning and pulls up the dashboard and hit, within his area of operation, he has uh, a refueler and three ships that he has to make a decision on. He's looking at the mission set from our Navy combatants and then he's looking at those refueling assets that he may have. He needs to see the amount of fuel, the type of fuel that they have, where they're located, and then how he can um, join those two forces together. He can use that data uh, to make a data-informed decision that I need to place my refueler in a certain position which would allow me to optimize the refueling points for those three ships. Where before he wouldn't have the exact uh, information at, at his hand and he would have to go comb through those naval messages manually. So the dashboard is actually, I would say honestly, a small piece of the overall scope. The major scope and the major effort was the data engineering behind getting that data. There we've built our natural language processing regular expression scripts to extract the fuel information that we then publish on the dashboard. It allows the warfighter to save time and refocus their time and efforts on the mission that they have at hand to make true decisions that are needed by a human versus a computer. Normally, you, you think about engineers and scientists, it's, it's, it's very like pigeonholed into uh, usually a male-dominated field, but this is it's accessible to everyone. So we're able to pull talent from a variety of different areas and a variety of different backgrounds. So having that diversity in those backgrounds, especially the backgrounds, the community you come from, how you interact with the world is very important, especially with AI, because AI is about hu humanity, really. It's about having a machine pretend to be a human almost. And so you want to have the machine being built, being applied from a, a people of a variety of backgrounds so that it is responsible, so that it doesn't have biases. It's easy to not realize how much AI really impacts our lives from day to day. 
how much algorithms and data is already impacting our lives. It's telling you what search results might be important to you. It's using your information about your preferences to deliver specific search results. So what excites me most about AI is that we as a, a population or as an organization have never generated more data than we are now and in the future we're going to be generating a lot more data. Um, so what AI is going to allow us to do is to cut through the noise and really see the data points that are going to be of interest and allow us to provide decision advantage to our warfighters. Artificial intelligence is a critical competitive advantage in any future conflict.